with, as many of you know, I did uh, do a batch of chili con carne uh, yesterday, and to be fair, oh, there's still quite a lot of that left. So, the other person is going to be having that. Uh, not all of it, but the other person is going to be having that. Uh, I myself, I'm going to be cooking essentially just for myself today, again. Um, but today, I'm not exactly feeling great. Uh, I'm not going to go into why. Um, so it's the big mug today, it's the mega mug. Um, so I'll just pour that out. Turn that down, get the other uh, big hob on the go. So, today's recipe is a red pepper tortilla with crushed potatoes. I think he said tomatoes, but potatoes. Um, might as well get the potatoes on the go. Um, again, this is a Slimming World recipe. It's a sin-free recipe. Uh, it's meant for four people, so I've had to quarter all the all the ingredients. Um, and the first thing that's uh, called for is on the recipe it calls for 250 grams of new potatoes. Um, well, like I say, there's only me, so I've quartered that, uh, which brings it down. It brings it down to 62 and a half grams. I've got just over that here, which equates to three potatoes, if you can believe that. And so I shall be boiling them. Which side? Now that'll take, um, that'll take a few minutes obviously to cook through. Uh, I'm not going to be waiting for them though, obviously we are going to be doing the rest of the recipe. First things first though, let's make sure my tea is made. milk but hey I'll still drink it right right so we are going to need one onion or one quarter of an onion um, stir fry onion uh, so we're going to need like I say the onion cumin cinnamon garlic spinach and peppers now the recipe itself the full recipe calls for one full onion so I've quartered that uh, a teaspoon of cumin seeds uh, a quarter of a teaspoon of ground cinnamon um, like I say, some garlic and 200 grams of. Uh, they actually asked for frozen spinach. I couldn't find frozen spinach, so I'm using fresh. Um, so, like I say, I've quartered all the recipes that need uh, quartered all the ingredients that need quartering. Things like the cumin seeds and the cinnamon, I haven't quartered, but everything else I have. So. Uh, Get the knife out. Clean knife. And we're going to start cutting. Let's start with the onion. Chopping through the onion as I would normally. Take the pepper as well. I'm pretty sure with the pepper I've got to chop it up. It's actually supposed to come from a jar. I couldn't find any, so I'm just using the pepper I've got left over. So I'm going to chop that up as finely as I can. I am deliberately taking my time here 
to make sure that the potatoes are cooked through. They should only take about 10 minutes. Okay, now that that's done, a little bit of the old locale spray. I know I should be doing it in a frying pan, but honestly I haven't got a frying pan deep enough, so I'm having to do it in a wok. Alright. So in goes the onion. Onion has to go in first. It would help if I actually switched the hob on. So now that's heating through quite nicely. There goes the onion. get the cumin and the cinnamon ready. I've already got a cumin seed on from there. No. Okay. That's fine. Oh I see it's stuck to the bottom of the cup. Give the onion a couple of minutes to fry. And then add half a teaspoon of cumin seeds and a quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon, ground cinnamon. There it goes. Garlic. As usual, I'm going to be using garlic paste. About the equivalent of a teaspoon, I suppose. And then 50 grams, in my case, of spinach. Might actually add a little bit of water. And in goes the peppers as well. I am going to add just a small amount of water. Obviously the spinach, the spinach is supposed to be frozen and um, so it would get it, um, it would get the moisture from there so I'm just adding just a touch of water just so that the, uh, the wok doesn't burn. Put that away, put these away. Now I have to beat the eggs. Now, in this case, just turn that heat down a bit. In this case, um, you're supposed to use five eggs for the full recipe. I'm using three, not because I'm greedy or anything like that, but because um, I was only going to use two, and that left one in that left one in the box. So I thought, no point leaving just one in the box, particularly when all that will happen is these will probably go out of date. So, um, yeah, break those, should be fine. Yeah, 25th of July, they'll be fine. Got another couple of days before they start going out of date. That's fine. Right, so now these need a little bit of a light beat. That's it. 
Dum. Yeah. Recipe now called for a little bit of parsley to go in there. A little bit of parsley. Yeah, another quick beat, actually. into the wok and I'm going to spread that nice and evenly all around. Turn the heat up so it work properly. Now realistically I should be putting the in fact I can put the grill on. viewers know the grill and the oven are the same unit but the difference is the grill actually still works unlike the oven so the oven goes on I'm going to pre-warm that and I'm going to have another slurp of my tea Again, because um, I'm doing chili con carne uh, for the other person, I can't really um, heat test it, but I will cook it until I think it's really, really well cooked, um, which shouldn't take too much longer, to be honest. Uh, all right, no, that's not quite done yet. So what we're looking for is the egg or the tortilla starting to just slightly peel away. That's what I was looking for. Just starting to slightly peel away from the bottom of the, well, in this case, wok. Um, which it's starting to do. I haven't put enough light spray on there. Which means that's going to be interesting when it comes to actually taking it out. But now I'm going to take this tortilla mixture, put it under the grill. Turn. Turn that hob off. I'm going to transfer chili over. Turn the heat down. And do the same to the new potatoes. Off that goes. That keeps boiling. And keep an eye on the tortilla. Tortilla, tortilla. I'm not sure. I'm going to call it a tortilla. And those potatoes are just about ready. So I'm going to turn the potatoes off, but I'm not going to take them out. I'm just going to let the residual heat keep cooking the potatoes. Not quite. Keeping an eye on the tortilla. Obviously trying to make sure that it's uh, thoroughly cooked through uh, before I do anything else. It right. goes off. Let's take this bowl. Yep. Looks 
Looks like I didn't put stuff away properly last night. No, my fault. Right. One spoon, two spoons, and a little bit. Yep, that's pretty much done. Put the potatoes over there, put the tortilla up there, turn the grill off, close the oven. trying to organize organize myself right so one bowl of chili con carne glad you're enjoying it Yeah, glad you're here, glad you're enjoying it. Um, it's going to be quite a short stream to be honest today. Uh, because once I have drained and lightly crushed these potatoes, these new potatoes, that'll pretty much be it. Right, leave that on there. Oh, the person watching in a small kitchen, there's never a, enough place to put the stuff right. It's going to need a little bit of a soak, so let's get that on to soak now. Good afternoon, good afternoon. Right, like you say, once these potatoes have been lightly crushed, that will pretty much be it. Okay. So I know it's been a short stream, but there's always replay. Crush them, and then, right. Spanish tortilla with lightly crushed, uh, with lightly crushed uh, potatoes. The secret recipe, secret ingredient for today, as always, is a cup of tea. Right, and that, that is pretty much it for me. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.